What's up gamers, Zfaros here with the top 19 tips, tricks, secrets, easter eggs, fun facts, little things you didn't know about Madden 19. I'm going to cover a bunch of different modes, so whether you consider yourself hardcore or you've missed the last few Maddens, I think you'll find something of interest. Let's jump into it, we're going to keep it conversational here. Delay of game penalties, number one, I think you're going to take a lot more of these this year, so keep an eye out for it. The new signature styles on the quarterbacks slows down some of the hot routing about a tenth of a second. It's not a lot, but it's just enough to get a few more penalties. You used to be able to get a playoff with about seven seconds, but now you really want to give yourself eight seconds coming out of the huddle. Number two is the hit stick. It's still in the game, and it is high risk, but man, is it high reward. So these new hit stick animations, bam, when you crack a ball carrier, you really let them know that you use the hit stick. But the window for a hit stick is much shorter. So I flick up, but often I'm doing it too early. I don't have players that are rated as high as the end of last season, and I hit stick way too early. I miss, and then the guy goes to the house. So it's a tough balance between it, but very important to master in this game. You also have the dive tackle, which is X. It gives you lots of range, so don't be afraid to dive tackle. You won't get hit sticks like you did Madden 16 with the X tackle square tackle, but you can get a lot of range, and it's how I like to go if I'm not going for a hit stick. Number three, strip ball is still in the game. You do that by pressing RB or R1. Now, it's not Madden 11 where you just chainsaw people left and right with the strip button, but uh, it's available if you need something at the end of the game. Obviously, you open yourself up to a lot of broken tackles. Let's jump into a Madden Ultimate Team tip. When you pick your favorite team in Madden 8 and Madden 19 when you log in, your playbook is going to be whoever you select. So you'll get your offensive and defensive playbook of your favorite team. I like to go with the Giants, but I don't necessarily like their playbook in Ultimate Team to start out. Now, obviously, you can still change your playbook later in Ultimate Team, but uh, to get those early solos out of the way, I would recommend probably going Patriots playbook because they have a multiple defensive playbook. So no matter what you're into, 4-3-3-4, and they've got a bunch of good offensive plays when you're just grinding it out. So that's what I would recommend there. Quick audibles are still in the game, and you can set those, but remember the delay of game. So you got to kind of have a strategy on your early drives to get your formation set up using quick audibles. These got patched in about midway through last year, and they really make a lot of playbooks better because you can change the quick audibles at the line of scrimmage. So say you come out in gun bunch, but the run is a halfback base, and, you don't, and you'd rather have a slip screen there, you can actually change that at the play call menu. It, it expands the game, but um, you really have to have a plan to get to take a second at the play call menu and get your um, formation set up. Target passing, that was in the game last year. Uh, L trigger, you would move the target and you'd be able to kind of throw your receivers open. That's no longer in there, so you've got to look and see. High pass, low pass, those controls got changed because the left trigger became the target passing button, but that's no longer there, so it goes back to normal. Defensive assist is if you hold down LB on any mode but all Madden, I believe your player will kind of track to his assignment, and it's a good way if you're following the halfback out of the backfield because you're using a linebacker uh, to follow them. Now, similar to defensive assist, there's a tip I have for user control on defense. Now, this is strafing on defense, and it's kind of like driving a stick shift with the left trigger as the clutch and the right trigger as the gas. So you want to make sure you used to kind of run in a circle with your user defender, but now you can almost one cut, which is an offensive move that the halfback uses, you can almost one cut with your defender. So you kind of want to left trigger strafe, and then as you're about to get your momentum going the other way, you want to kind of hold down the right trigger and take off that. So you can actually, that's how you're going to get the best speed and cover the most ground, but it's a little bit different than years past because as you guys will see when you do the run game, the momentum is much different. Next up is one cut, and that is the offensive move. So in my opinion, when you take control of the ground game, you do not want to hold turbo until you kind of choose your gap. Then you want to hit the 
um, right trigger once you get to the edge or you find the gap and you'll one cut and get a burst. The running game feels totally different. I know it feels a little slow at first, but I think the more and more you play it, you'll figure out kind of how to run and you'll like it uh, much better. So don't get discouraged if you're having trouble, you have bad habits from years past where you're trying to run you know, straight, but you're, you're trying to get to the edge and so you, you're moving the left stick and your running back slows down. That is gonna happen to you this year until you kind of figure out uh, the foot planning and where you can actually go with the stick. So it'll just take a little bit. There's new positions. Speaking of halfbacks, you've got third down backs, which are your pass catchers. You've got goal line backs, which are your short yardage guys. You've got the slot receiver position. You've got the slot corner position, which who doesn't love to put a guy like uh, Rod Woodson in there in the slot and blitz him. You have a uh, slot wide receiver. I believe I mentioned that, and of course, uh, pass rushing end. So new positions on the depth chart, make sure to take a look at those and see how you can use them to your advantage. As far as in-game, you can lay down with the ball carrier still by using the left trigger and the right trigger and then tapping X. This is great for the end of the game when you don't want to take a big hit or if you want to stay in bounds and keep the clock moving, I would recommend going with that. Sliding with the quarterback, this can confuse people sometimes. All you have to do is not push either trigger and you just tap X and your QB will slide. So don't hold down the left trigger because that will lay out dive, which if you wanna go for the bread, it's fourth down and you have to get the yards and you gotta dive, that's left trigger and X with the quarterback and he will dive, but obviously you risk a fumble chance. So you don't wanna do that by accident. Number 11, celebration. So if you wanna celebrate as a team, after you score a touchdown, flip the right stick up. If you just are angry and want to spike the ball, uh, flick the stick, the right stick to the right. If you want to dance, and who doesn't, flick the right stick to the left, and then for a signature celebration, flick the right stick down. So those are how you celebrate. Obviously dancing and signature and team are pretty awesome. Spike is cool, but you'll, you know, you'll see how many ways can you spike a football, unless you're Gronk, not as many as you can dance and bust it out. So try those out. Throwing away the football, still in the game. You want to click down the right stick. If you're new to the game or you're not good at passing, throwing the football away five times a game will probably end up making you a better passer. You'll take less sacks. You'll force less throws. And that's the consistent thing I see with good players is they're willing to throw the ball away and fight for another down. The legend teams. Uh, there's a legend team in play now. It's a 99 OBR. It's, it's loaded up with legends. It's kind of a fun way if you're just playing on the couch to take out a squad, but I've got a tip for you there. Do not uh, go with the main playbook uh, if you're trying to play a competitive game. In my opinion, they don't have any shotgun plays in there. Now they have some really good under center. They've got near formation, far formation. They've got a new like single back freeze formation, RT freeze. It's really cool, fun playbook, but don't um, go into a game that you need to win uh, before trying that playbook out because there's no shotgun formation so if things start to go a little south for you you can't go back to your old reliable plays that you're familiar with there's also an elite team on play now that's 99 OBR as well and can be a fun way to match those two teams up if you're just like playing on the couch with your buddy or you want to take down your bro that is a fun way to go about it coach adjustments are still in the game so you can change those by when you're at the play call menu press b go down to coach adjustments um, conservative ball carrier so you won't necessarily be able to do moves as many moves but you'll be able to uh, protect the football better so that is something you want to check out um, if you're used to using those like aggressive pass rush uh, if you guys remember ncaa football had those and they were in madden 18 so don't forget about those another coach adjustment which is more related to like the settings in the game which you definitely want to check auto flip on defense so if you're newer or you're not you know you don't consider yourself an expert i would definitely leave auto flip defense on and that will match up your defensive formation to the offensive formation it's very good for the run game but it can make it hard to blitz because you it's harder to see where the blitzer you want to send is because he doesn't come out on the same side it's depending on formation and you get less consistency because your defense is moving all over the place. Gibbs likes to turn it off because it, he thinks it increases his uh, pass defense because he can blitz better. 
but his run defense isn't as strong. I like to keep it on because I like to have my run defense a little bit more balanced on its own. And then uh, I just try and find blitzes that work with auto flip. Two more tips for guys trying to get better. The skills trainer's still in the game. It's a little bit hidden in the menu, but it's still right there. So go in and make sure you run through that if uh, you missed any of the last year or two years. I think the skills trainer's great. And then lastly, practice mode is always there for you. The best players take two controllers, one on offense, one on defense, and they lab, they set up a defense, then they press A on the other controller to hike the ball, see what happens, and they run little science experiments over and over. So those are just some of the tips and tricks and Easter eggs, little fun things that you may notice or may not notice. Uh, definitely the celebrations are a lot of fun. And of course, uh, knowing the controls is a huge part of winning more games. This channel will have tons of tips. I hope this is fun for you. Make sure you set that Mutt playbook, try out that Legend Squad, and we'll be back soon with more tips and tricks. This is Farrell signing out. Peace.